All right, Spatula Games here, getting back into Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe, hit notification bell. Um, I have a confession to make. I had an episode recorded when I went to edit it. My microphone was off the whole time. I didn't want to upload it like that, so... I have three missions I have to do over. So here we go. Stick them up, cowboy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, real funny, Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. And from what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here, Anon. Hello. All right. Tried to say hello. Funny you should say that. <laughs> well, you know how it is. I told him. I say that's the state of Le Mans for you. America's dirty little French sea. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> that's why we love it. Born and raised. Mm. Well, I'll get you in a second. Not unless we all get washed away. <laughs> Every year they say that's gonna happen. It ain't happened yet. <laughs> Let me tell you something. The rest of the states, they lucky to have us. Hey, can I get a drink? Now, I'm here? sorry. Please excuse me. I, I I seem to have some very impatient customers. That's right. Now, how can I help? You look like a whiskey man. Sure. Dollar, please. For a whiskey? Oh, that's the real stuff from Scotland. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Well, thank you. So, mister, can I ask you a question? You ever hear of a fella by the name of Bronte? <laughs> Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, friend. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you in, but leave it, friend. You and your pal that was in here before. <laughs> Bronte? Angelo Bronte? Mr. Big, Mr. Italian, spaghetti eating, long streak of piss big. Yep. He makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally, a cocksucker. <clears throat> you know what I mean, friend? Yep. Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know I guess. Uh, All right. Oh, and friend, you, you'll be careful now. Come on now, this become you. They're not to be you trusted. You always have to be right, don't you? It... I'm just giving you the correct use of the word. If you're feeling sick, you're not nauseous. You're nauseated. <laughs> right, you're nauseous and I'm nauseated. You're impossible. Hey! Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. Italian. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What old cost? I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. You don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, man. Listen, my friend. Here. <laughs> Come on. This away. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Come on, then. You new to the city, mister? Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baird and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Modeled on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? Nope. No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but, uh... Bet the 
They don't have nothing so <coughs> fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine. Here we go. Hey, hey, you little pair of shits. Get going. He's coming after us. You give that back. Still this horse. I'll kill you, famous bastard. You ain't got a chance in that slow boat. You better stop right now. Bastard got off. Ah, oh, damn street trash. Yep. That was absolutely delicious, my dear. Whoops. No, no. Jump. You still here? Get I'll be shit. Damn it. Oh, how did he do that? Doggone it. Arthur won't run. I needed to catch him in the street. I hate this. I'm gonna wring his freaking neck one of these days. talking about friend I ain't your friend but that kid is and he robbed from me now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte Senor Bronte that kid was gonna show me before he robbed me <gasps> ah. come on you new in town mister come on mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends mister but I ain't never seen you we ain't friends you don't like no one, mister. Punk. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why are you gonna care a thing about you? I just want to speak with him. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. He been mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. Well, you and your friend should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, yokel. Now, get out of here. Punks. Well, no gold medal this time. I mean, Dutch. Where you been? Getting robbed? Who by? Bunch of children. <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently lives in a big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. Huh. Good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John, you meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. I cannot decide which I like less. 
the swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way each to land we know, and far from real open country. Yep. Bronze. Nothing. I hate that mission. I hate it. There you Here we are. go. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Just see some slick little greasy haired European. Clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, we're gonna have a lot of protection. Ain't no one gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This the place? <clears throat> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> you get your boss down here and now, so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Huh? Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. You looking for a problem? I got this. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things now. out with your boss. They do. Chi sono sti buffoni? Sono qui per picciotto. Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So... You walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son <coughs> over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. <laughs> and that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. Arthur's you ready. Think you are better than everyone else. Diodoro. <laughs> that is the best woman here. Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderland. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur, uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> So, oh, he's going to use us. Can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Uh, of course I know you would not want that, huh? No. No, no, no. So Here we go. How about this? You perform a simple job for me. Arthur knows. you get your son back. What is it? 
A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in this cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> <laughs> I love this guy. I love What a dumb you. thing to say. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, why you tell me more about my manners? <laughs> Salute. Salute. Let's go to the cemetery. Grave robbers? You think he's taking us for a fool? No yes. idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that no. bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. John's starting to understand now. He's okay. He'll be fine. I figure the Braithwaite's were going to hold Jack Ransom for all the money we cost him. Must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But Ronte knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. Right. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just get this done. Let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Okay. I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch the horses up ahead. Careful! Ugh. Can't you control that damn horse? I'm trying to get out of the way. Come on! We're not riding in there. <laughs> Shut up, John. This way. Come on. Let's find him and get the hell out of here. I hear a dog. Stay quiet. I don't want to spook him. Where's the dog? There it is. Nope. Is it there? There it is. Hey there, boy. Okay. Let's keep on. Where's that guy? Oh, I'm um, sorry. Sorry. I had a, a bit to drink. Apparently. Friend died. They can hear us, you know. They're still with us. You should get out of here, mister. It ain't safe. There was another guy running over there. Can't believe we're doing this. I know, <laughs> but 
He won't care once we get the boy back. That bastard better keep his word. Hmm. I think I see somebody some. else running. Who was that? Clean that gun, John. <laughs> Damn it. How many you see? Four or there we go. You should have paid Mr. Bronte. Where'd that guy go? Careful. They're leading us out in the open. Yep. There we go. Reckon that's gonna wake a few people up? No doubt. Let's stay on them, come on! I can't see him. You low down bastards! Oh, I can hardly see what I'm shooting at! Right. Someplace. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty handed. Right. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. <sighs> Robin grave robbers. We've hit the big time. It's not in this one. This one's open. Nope. Okay. Like Let's look around where they jumped us. Okay. <laughs> we can't go back to Bronte with nothing to show for it, Arthur. Think there might be something in here. And here come the police. Damn, the law's here. Come on, let's see if that gate's open. It's nope. Locked. We'll have to go back the way we came. Damn it. Come on. All right, let's, let's go. To the side. Yep. Still here. Come on. Stay together.
Yep. You try the left, and I'll go straight ahead. Perfect. Let's go, John. Come on, quick. Let's get back to Dutch. I'm a go, boy. Easy. I think we lost. Come on, quick. Let's get back to Dutch. Well. It's lucky I ain't a religious man. Let's just get back there, collect our <laughs> side of the deal. You all right? He best not be playing games with us. He almost certainly yep. is. Let's just see. Keep your head. Act normal. How's he even going to know we did what he asked? I got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast. Yep. Like I said, we should see where we're at once we got Jack. Let's get this done. Come on, Arthur. <laughs> Pretty wonky act in there. <clears throat> well, you took your time. Jack. Where's your host? Hi. Like I said. You took your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, there it is. Friend, thank Mr. You. Bronte you all for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. Sweet. <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. Let's go! We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. All right, let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm, I'm sorry. Papa Bronte. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box, and lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him <clears> that, <throat> please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And pantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best time. But I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. Real good to see you, Jack. You too, Uncle Arthur. Did you catch the bad guys? Which ones? At the graveyard. Uncle Dutch and Papa Bronte told me. Just Mr. Bronte. Yeah. Yep. Me and your pa dealt with him. I told him you would. Wait till you see this new camp. Not another one. Yep. Well, this one's got a house. Not as nice as Mr. Bronte's, <laughs> mind you. Not even That's close. Okay. We'll get you settled and cleaned up in no time. <clears throat> oh, I had a bath last night. Of course you did. John's starting to get it now. Abigail! Abigail! 
We, we got promised. You, your son. Everything. We got him. Mama. He's fine. I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. <laughs> you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch Arthur, thank you. Thank you. She doesn't thank John. I got my son back. Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? Ah, so. Well, we met Mr. Bronte. <laughs> he is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. Well, <laughs> let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Yeah, for keeping Boys, your promise. We got some work to do. <clears throat> Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. Party time. <laughs> we got Jack back. <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. Okay. Silver again. Yep. Got the headshots. Okay. Now where are we? Out there. Okay. One more mission to do. Hey, Arthur. Come on! If Here we go. If we're make it to this party, we yeah. sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh, yeah. Old friend Dutch van der Linde's finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. He's so a my snake. My suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> we are ridiculous. <laughs> Utterly. <clears throat> I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. There could be fine pickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I am sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Gentlemen, Luca. I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. <laughs> Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. This way, please, Bill's gentlemen. white socks. Senior Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. We are honored to be here. Yeah, that's wonderful, wonderful. That. Come, come, this way. Uh, what a beautiful evening it shall be. Mr. Brante is a very good friends with the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli? As long as the mayor behaves himself, you know. Mr. Brante, he has a that thing, you know, a respect. Jose, Bill, you join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Bronte. Come, come. Yep. We'll meet you out in the balcony when we're done. And here's the snake. Ah, the angry cow 
boys, you've arrived. And you've washed for the prima volta questo mese, senza dubbio. Oh, this is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something. Although I'm not quite sure what. So, this is Sandini High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, Senor Bronte. No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crowley, a, a Confederate major in the war. I mean, hero, they say, but that this is his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife is unseemly. Oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, hand a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> and that... That is Hector Fellows, mm -hmm. this self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. Well, I'm not taken. None taken. <laughs> All these vulgar people. Arthur doesn't they like hate it. Me. <laughs> non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire. <laughs> well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open road. <laughs> Those sure were the days. Good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day Scumbag. to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well, we are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. Well, there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you... Pff, as a guest, yes, as my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. He's setting us up. <laughs> okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. Si. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you to the party, gentlemen, if you'll kindly follow me. As he locks the door. Gentlemen, enjoy your evening and welcome <clears throat> once again to Santa Anthony. Ciao, ciao. Gentlemen, let's go ingratiate ourselves. Okay. Go find the mayor if you can and stay out of trouble and steal nothing unless it's information. Of course. Jose. You go find us some place to rob. Bill, go make us some new friends. I'm gonna find out if old Cornwall and what's his name, Milton, knows we're here. Gentlemen. Okay. Well. Have a wonderful night. Let's mingle. Can I interest you in a glass of champagne? I mean, not at all. Philistine is all that, Marie. Cool. Oh, look out. Come on, game. It's acting weird. Stop it. Would you like some champagne? Of course. Thank you, sir. 
Absolutely. Clearly not from this swampy hell. Thank you. Thank you. You have no idea. <laughs> All right. Indeed. And you're burying your head in the sand again, it sir. Really is a beautiful head. Hmm. I got it from Mr. Wasp. He's yep. the finest murderer in the state and quite the most interesting purveyor of these. I know. Are. But don't tell anyone, sir. The women here are all desperate to know. I will not deny I'm the one that gives him the stuff. I'm in How's the show? I heard you went. <laughs> Outrageous. <laughs> These dancers, well, uh, <laughs> if that's French culture for you, sign me up for French lessons. Gentlemen, I hope you're happy. Oh, would you like tickets? What? This cabaret show at the sure. Theater Ramua. It's jolly fun. Uh, I'm used to the music. I suggested that. Sure. The duty to take care of people living in this land. Thank, Thank you. you. Very much. My pleasure. Good evening. <laughs> well, <laughs> there's Bill with his white socks. Can I help you, sir? Hi there, sir. Well, I'm not quite sure yet. You French, sir? Sort of. Originally. I'm from Quebec, but I left many moons ago. <laughs> <laughs> I'm down from New York for a job. I'm a banker. <laughs> you okay? Oh my lord! The pesky nut! What a way to go, eh? Oh, thank you, sir. Algernon oh, was. Yes. Oh, thank you. Oops. Algernon was. Hello. The uh, person is killed. Hello, Mr. Kilgore. No more. What is it that uh, that you do? I'm, uh, I'm an adventurer. An adventurer. Oh, uh, me too. Pursuer of the exotic and the remarkable. An esteem in this land of commonplace heathens. My card, sir. Well, have you considered Lemoyne National okay. Bank? Oh. Pay me a visit in my atelier. I'm a right. stone purge. I intend to stay thin until I pass away. <laughs> Good evening. Okay. There's Hosea talking to the banker. More cash and cash equivalents than any bank south of Manhattan, including St. Louis. Almost all the Caribbean trade banks. We work with all the remaining cotton growers in the U.S. And we will find Get it, Hosea. Glass of champagne, sir? Nope. I'm on a mission. It ain't complex, am you? And only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, sir, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy. You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> yep. Not drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. <laughs> hey, you are pretty drunk. Yeah. Let's get him out of here. Get your hands off me. Nope. Come on, sleep it off. <laughs> Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. Then you can rejoin the party. How do you do, sir? <clears throat> Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Lemieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. Mayor. 
Allegedly. There's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we Naturally. Can put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? My lord. A writer? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh, my lord, they're fantastic. Please. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass. Yep. And a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. It's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come yep. inside in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Please say something about Cornwall. Yes. Find out what. Sure. All right. Nice fireworks distraction. There's Algernon, isn't it? I don't think that's him. mind come here come here look at me look at me who do you think you are this area is not meant for the likes of you you know this standards in this house are slipping this is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Now get out of my sight. Okay, here we go. Wait for him to get out of the room. Okay, he left. That way. All right. Yep. Very interesting. 
Okay. We want to inspect this letter also. From the office of the mayor, city of Saint Denis, Lemoyne, 1899. Angelo. This is to Angelo Bronte for his donation. Okay. We're out of here. Um, excuse me. Find anything? Yep. I think so. Nothing. This town is a waste of time. Maybe not. <laughs> I think. Gentlemen. It would be fun to follow Bill here. around and see the conversations. What did you find out? Plenty of money moves through here, of course, and I, I think I found out how we can grab some of it. A big yep. bank. Real one, I mean. But not yet. A city bank? Maybe. And a stuffed one. If we're gonna leave, that could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about. And Bad I idea. about a high-stakes poker game. Good idea. Come on. Here comes Lenny. <clears throat> All right. Let's get in. <clears throat> Go home. Oh, I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk all so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society's pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. <sighs> Let me see you take this. I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Somebody Let me think on it. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting times. <laughs> I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are going to run some distractions, see how the law reacts. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller, fine man, here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A yep. lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. Where is home? I don't know. Exactly. But I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. And here we are. Gold medal. Nice. The gang attend a party hosted by the mayor of Saint Denis. While at the party, they meet with Bronte and look for job opportunities. While at the party, pour some drinks, compliment a guest attire, accept a gift, and save a life. Follow the servant without being detected. Perfect. All right, so we ha still have... Save Tilly mission. Um, yeah. Uh, we have Mary Linton, Trelawney in the riverboat, <clears throat> Charles Chatonet, <laughs> and Algernon Wasp. But I'm going to stop right here. Um, yeah, there's a lot to do. Oh, I've got a bounty up here, too. <clears throat> so that's what will be in the next one. But I'm going to stop for right now, and I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one.